so exalted as she was by the prayers of her who carried you for nine months so sign of God removed from us the scourge of wrath Barkamore, holy art thou, O God Holy art thou, mighty, holy art thou, immortal Crucify for us, have mercy on us. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, mighty, holy art thou, immortal. Crucify for us, have mercy on us. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, mighty, holy art thou, immortal. Crucify for us, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, be kind and have mercy. Lord, accept our prayers and worship and have mercy on us. Glory be to Thee, O God. Glory be to Thee, O Creator. Glory be to Thee, O Christ, our King, who does pity sinners, Thy servants, Baruch and more. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thou will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day the bread we need, and forgive us our debts and sins, as we have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer of the sixth hour on page 40. Peace to you, Mary, ark of mysteries, which Moses fashioned. Peace, O veil of the Spirit, shown by Departed, who partook of your body and blood, Lord, sit at the table you set for the righteous and the just. O oh Lord, as they come, you confess them to your Father, for they died and slept in your hope. Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. May the remembrance and prayers of Mary be a blessing and fortress. Dew of gladness on our departed Who has slept in your home Lord, by the prayer of your mother and saints Have mercy on us and our departed The voice of rejoicing and Salvation is in the tents of the righteous through David. In tone the Holy Spirit. The lesson from the book of Isaiah, the glorious prophet, chapter 52, verses 7 to 12, Baruch and more. Glory to the Lord the prophet, and his mercy be upon us forever. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns, listen. Your sentinels lift up their voices together and sing for joy. For in the plain sight they see in the return of the Lord to Zion, break forth together into singing your ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of the, all the nations and all of the ends of the earth shall see salvation of our God. Depart, de, depart, depart, go out from there.
touch no unclean things, go out from the midst of it, purify yourselves who carry the vessels of the Lord, for you shall not go out in haste, and you shall not go in the flight, for the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your rear guard, Barakamor. Preparation for Hosea, the prayer of absolution. For all those who have come prepared, if you would pull out the kneelers. Let's keep ourselves in front of the God of mercies, who knows our heart, whose love and mercies are always greater than our sins and shortcomings, and prepare ourselves for the Hosoyo, the prayer of absolution. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one true God. O Lord my God, I confess that I have sinned against you with all my senses, I have sinned in my thoughts, in my words, and in my deeds. I have sinned against heaven and in God's sight. I have sinned. I have also failed to do what your holy decree requires of me. But now, with repentance and a broken heart, I turn again to your love and mercy. I entreat you to forgive me all my sins and debts, and to cleanse me from all my sins and shortcomings. Let's take a minute to reflect on all your sins, debts, and failures. Lord, I beseech you to give me pardon of my sins and to accept me as a lost son. Lord, fill my heart with the light of your truth. Strengthen my will by your grace. Teach me, O Lord, to desire and to do what pleases you. O Lord, protect me that I may not be lost. May I be found worthy to rejoice in heaven and to sing praises with the just and the righteous. To the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one true God forever and ever. Amen. Page 44. By thy light we see the light, Jesus, full of light. Thou true light, thus Give thy light to thy creature soul. Lighten us with thy bright light. Now the Father's light from all passions from grant us cleanness in our hearts deeds of righteousness to do Oranishum Shiho, our Lord Jesus Christ, Mary, who brought you forth, and John, who baptized you, shall be supplicants to you on our behalf. Have mercy upon us. By thy mother's earnest prayers, by thy saints' entreaties, I adore thee, Lord, and who be God in heavenly world. Father, 
to the Gentiles, I glorify my ministry in order to make my own people jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? If the part of the dough offered as first fruits is holy, then the whole batch is holy. And if the root is holy, then the branches also are holy. But if some of the branches were broken off, and you, a wild olive shoot, were grafted in their place to share the rich fruit of the olive tree. Do not boast over the branches. If you do boast, remember that it is not you that supports the root, but the root that supports you. You will say, branches are broken off so that I might be grafted in. That is true. They were broken off because of their unbelief, but you stand only through faith. So do not become proud, but stand in awe. 
For if God did not spare the natural branches, perhaps he will not spare you. Note then that the kindness and the severity of God, severity towards those who have fallen, but God's kindness toward you, provided you continue in his kindness, otherwise you also will be cut off. And even those of Israel, if they do not persist in unbelief, will be grafted in. For God has the power to graft them in again. For if you have been cut from what is by nature a wild olive tree, and grafted, contrary to nature, into a cultivated olive tree, how much more will these natural branches be grafted back into their own tree? Ahai, barakimur. sober minds. Let us give heed and listen to the gospel of the living words of God and the holy evangelion of our Lord Jesus Christ that is read to us. Peace be with you all. The holy evangelion of our Lord Jesus Christ, the life-giving message from Saint John the Apostle who preaches life and salvation to the world. Blessed is he who has come, and is to come, brings you to him, who sent him for salvation, and his mercy be upon us all forever. At the time of the incarnation of our Lord and our God, our Savior Jesus Christ, the Word of life, God, who incarnate of the Holy Virgin Mary, these things thus came to pass in this manner. We believe and confess. The next day when a large crowd who had come for the festival heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, they took palm branches and went out to meet him crying out, O Shano Bashmed Morio Balko di Saroye Hosanna Hosanna Blessed is he, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel, the King of Israel. Shano Brihudo Se Bashmed Morio Disroyel Hosanna Hosanna Blessed is he Blessed is he Who comes in the name of the Lord Who comes in the name of the Lord The King of Israel The King of Israel Shano Brihudo Se Bashmed Morio Malko De Saroye Hosanna Hosanna Blessed is he Blessed is he Who comes in the name of the Lord Who comes in the name of the Lord The King of Israel The, the King, King of Israel. Israel Jesus found a donkey and sat on it As it is written do not fear daughter of Zion Behold your King comes to you riding on a cord a fall of a donkey His disciples did not understand these things at that time but after Jesus had been glorified, his disciples remembered that these were written about him, that the people had done these things for him. The crowd that had been with him 
When he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead, continue to offer testimony. And this is why large crowds who heard he had performed this sign were going out to meet him. But the Pharisees were saying to each other, See, we are not accomplishing anything because the whole world is following him. Peace and serenity be with you all. Song, um, the next song will be on the TV. When Lord was ascending on Jerusalem, children proclaimed, carrying branches of olives, Redeemer of mankind and Son of David, welcome to Lord of David and the Son of God, Hosanna, in heights of heavens, glad and are those who stay beneath Blessed is Lord, who with angels came and to come. Storm and Galus. Let us all pray and beseech the Lord for mercy and compassion. O merciful Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. Make us worthy to raise to you praise, thanksgiving, glory, adoration, never ceasing, good exaltation. Continue at all times and in all seasons. Blessed is the delightful offering and glorious is the sweet fruit who was offered for us and cleansed us by his sanctifying sacrifice. The divine Lamb, the Son of Virgin, who ascended the cross and redeemed us and delivered us from the sacrifices of dumb animals. To him befits glory, honor and worship at this time of the celebration of this divine Corbono and all festivals, seasons, hours, times, and all the days of our life and forever. We call on so the high I love all me. Amen. Barakim more in the presence of the merciful Lord and in, his per in his, the front of his propitiating altar before these holy, divine, and heavenly mysteries, before this awe-inspiring sacred Eucharist, incense is placed upon the hands of this reverend priest. Let us all pray and beseech the Lord, mercy and compassion. O oh, merciful Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. O oh, you absolver, purifier, giver of pardon, why blot out and remember not our wickedness. O oh, Lord God, by the mercy of your loving kindness, blot out my countless sins and the sins of all your faithful people. Oh, you good ones, spare us and have mercy upon us. Remember us, O oh Lord God, in your mercy, and remember, my Lord, our souls and the souls of our fathers and mothers, our brothers and sisters, our elders, our teachers, our departed ones, all the faithful departed, the children of your holy and glorious church. O oh Lord, grant rest to their souls, spirits, and bodies. Sprinkle the dew of mercy and compassion on their bones. Be you the pardon and partner unto us and unto our. Save us, O oh Lord, and accept our prayers and petitions by your mercy, O oh Lord. Remove from us all hard punishments. Prevent, forbid, and remove the last rating rods of wrath. Make us worthy of a good end, meant for the people of peace. O oh, you, the Lord of peace and serenity, grant us that Christian end which is dear and proper to you, and pleasing to the honor of your Lordship. To you we raise glory and thanksgiving, 
now and always, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God Almighty, who accepts the sacrifices of glory from those who call upon you, accept this incense from the hands of your sinful servants, and draw us near to your holy altar, strengthen us to offer you spiritual oblations and sacrifices for our sins and the transgressions of your people, and make us worthy to be an acceptable sacrifice to you. May your good spirit rest upon us and upon these offerings set before us and upon all your faithful people in our Lord Jesus Christ, with whom glory, honor, and dominion are due unto you with your Holy Spirit, now and always, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord accept your ministration and help us by your prayer. Praise God. May we receive remission of sins, forgiveness of offenses in both worlds, forever and ever. Amen. And I a weak and sinful servant of Lord, lift up my voice and pray. Holy is the Holy Father. Amen. Holy is the Holy Son. Amen. Holy is the living and Holy Spirit. Who sanctifies the center of his sinful servant by showing mercy and compassion upon our souls and the souls of your fathers and mothers, our brothers and sisters, our elders, our teachers, our departed ones, all the faithful departed, the children of your holy and glorious church in both worlds, now and always, forever and ever. Attend we to divine wisdom. Let us all stand well and respond to the prayer of the reverend priest. We believe in one true God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and, and of all things visible and invisible, and the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God and Son of God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, true God of true God, begotten of me. Being in the same substance with the Father, and by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and became man, and was crucified for us in the days of Pontius Pilate, and suffered and died and was buried, and the third day rose according to his will, and descended into heaven. And says at the right hand of his Father, it shall come again in his great glory, to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And the one living Holy Spirit, the life-giving Lord of all, who proceeds from the Father, and who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who is both of the prophets and the apostles, and the one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we confess one baptism for the mission of sins, and live for the resurrection of the dead, and the new life in the world to come. Amen. Come, the time of prayer is here. Come for a pardon, have no fear. Tis the time to ask anew. Tis the time for mercy to see the priest ascend holy, mounting stairs which heaven would turn to offer this sacrifice for the souls who receive it. Barkmores, Domen Galos, Prila Isu. Give us at this moment, O Lord, love, serenity, and perfect peace, so that we may offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, 
now and always, forever and ever. Peace be with you all. Into thy spirit. Mark more, let us in the love of our Lord and our God. Give peace to one another, everyone to his neighbor, by the holy and divine kiss. O oh Lord God, make us worthy of this peace all the days of our lives. Share. Mark more after. We bow us before Thee, our Lord and our God. Bless us, O Lord, with Your everlasting blessings, and hold us worthy to do Your will, and of Your only begotten Son, and of Your Holy Spirit, now and always, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord God, by this sacrifice which we offer unto You, Remove from us every filthy thoughts and mind, illuminate our souls. Sanctify our bodies that we may offer glory to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Oh, show up, cool as by love all me. Amen. Amen. let us now stand well. Let us stand in fear, let us stand with purity. Let us stand in holiness, let us all, my brethren, stand in love and true faith, especially in the fear of God, and look upon this awe-inspiring and holy Eucharist that is set before us by the hands of this reverend priest. For he offers a living sacrifice to God the Father, Lord of all things, on behalf of us all, in common peace. This Kribana's mercy, peace, sacrifice, and thanksgiving. Oh, 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 the love of God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, fellowship and indwelling of the Holy Spirit, be with you all, my brothers and sisters, forever and ever. Amen. And with thy spirit. Up above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God the Father. Let there be our minds, our thoughts, and our hearts be lifted up at this time. With the Lord God our be our minds and our thoughts and our hearts. Let us praise the Lord with fear and trembling. Me to this and I to do so. With thousands of thousands and tens of thousands of fiery hosts, who stand before you and glorify you unceasingly. May we all be held worthy to praise you thrice, crying and saying, Vam Kadishin Koye Nomari. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, by your story the heaven and the earth are filled. Hoshana in the highest, thus is he who has come, and is to come in the name of the Lord God. When he, the sinless one, was prepared to accept death for us sinners, he took bread in his holy hands. When he had given thanks, he blessed, sanctified, and broke. Bari. disciples and said take eat of it this is my body which is for you and for many is broken and given for the remission of sins and for life eternal likewise he took the cup when he had given thanks he blessed and sanctified and gave it to his holy disciples and said take drink of it all of you this is my blood which is for you and for many you share 
and given for the remission of sins and for life eternal. Walhai Dalvona Mulmi. He added this admonition saying, Whenever you partake in this mystery, make in remembrance of my death and my resurrection until I come Adamo Doseno. We commemorate our death, O Lord, and confess thy resurrection and await thy second coming. May thy blessings be upon us all. O Lord God, therefore your church remembers your entire redemptive dispensation and your dreadful second coming in which each one shall be rewarded according to their deeds. Because of this holy kurban of your church, your frog and with penitence entreat you and through you and with you unto your father, saying, Be thy kamu klabu kadamaru. Have mercy upon us, O God, Father Almighty. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, and we beseech thee. O Lord God, O good one, have compassion and mercy upon us all. Hark more, how solemn is this hour. And how awe-inspiring this time, my beloved, wherein the living Holy Spirit comes down fluttering from the most elevated heights of heaven and rests upon this Eucharist and sanctifies it. Stand ye still in reverence and prayer. Peace be with us and good will be unto us all. Answer me, O Lord, answer me, O Lord, answer me, O Lord, O good one, have come back. Perfect this bread as the body of Christ our Lord and the mixture that is in the cup may the Holy Spirit change into blood of Christ our Lord O Lord may these be unto all those who partake of this for the remission of their debts may they inherit eternal life by these they will offer up glory and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten and your holy spirit oh show up cool as by love all me Barkamore, let us pray and beseech the lord our god at this great and solemn and sacred moment for all the spiritual fathers our leaders who are appointed over us this day and in this life, to shepherd and govern the holy churches of God in the four quarters of the earth. Our holy and revered and blessed patriarchs, our Father, more and more Ignatius of from the second, our exalted Catholicos, Abun more Basilio Samus the first, and our Bishop, our Father, more Thethos, who are being upheld by God, along with all the other Orthodox bishops and spiritual fathers, let us beseech the Lord for you. O Lord, give serenity and peace to your holy church, good and quiet all days to its ministers. Appoint in its shepherds who correctly interpret the word of truth, that we may offer glory to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Hoshua Kulis by Level Me. Amen. Barakimor, again we call to remember to the Lord, all our brethren, the faithful and true Christians. But bidden us and earnestly trusted us, humble and feeble though we be, to remember them on this occasion and at this time. We pray thee, Lord God Almighty, on behalf of all those who are fallen in all kinds of hard trials and taken refuge in thee, that they may soon be delivered and visited by thee, and on behalf of this congregation preserved by God, and for the unity and prosperity of all our faithful members, that they may continue in virtue. Let us beseech the Lord. O oh Lord, while you give help to all those who are afflicted by need and poverty, keep all those who extend the hands of help for them, that we may offer glory and thanksgiving to you and your holy begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always, forever and ever. 
Mark and Moore, again we remember all the faithful and true Christian leaders who have established and confirmed in the true faith, the churches and the monasteries of God, and the four quarters of the earth. Let us pray for the whole Christian community, the clergy, and the faithful people, that they may continue in virtue. Let us beseech the Lord. O oh Lord, remove from us that invisible enemy. Redeem us from the hands of unkind masters, that we may offer up glory to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always, forever and ever. Amen. more, again we commemorate her, who is worthy of being called blessed and extolled of all generations of the earth. Holy, holy glorious, and blessed, ever virgin and blissful, Mary the Mother of God, along with member of the apostles, the preachers and the evangelists, the martyrs and the confessors, the blessed Saint John the Baptist, the forerunner of his master, and the illustrious Saint Stephen, chief of the and the first of the martyrs, and the exhausted Saint Peter and Saint Paul, chief of, among the apostles, and Saint Thomas the apostle to India. Let us remember at the same time the whole company of the saints, both men and women. May their prayers be a refuge to us. Let us beseech the Lord. Shelter us under the wings of your saints and arrange us in their companies. With them we will sing glory and praise to you, O God, and your holy begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always, forever and ever. Amen. more again remember those who have before us fallen asleep in holiness and taken repose in the abode of the saints and who maintain and delivered and entrusted to us the one apostolic and uncorrupt faith. We also acknowledge those three sacred holy and economical synods, namely that in Nicaea, that in Constantinople, and that in Ephesus, and our glorious and God-fearing fathers and teachers who participated in them. Let us remember all those who before them and with them and after them have kept and handed down and entrusted to us the one genuine and uncorrupted faith. May their prayers be a stronghold to us. Let us beseech the Lord. O oh Lord God, keep us in true faith. Do not make us all on apostate and guilty that we will offer glory and praise to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Hosho up coolest by in love all me. Bark more again we remember all the faithful departed ones who have passed away in love and in the true faith from this holy sanctuary and from this church and from this place and from all places and regions those who before us have fallen asleep and are at rest and have attained to thee O god the father the lord of both the spirits and of all the flesh let us pray and beseech christ our god who has received to himself their spirits and their souls that he may according to his abundant mercies account them worthy of the remission of debts and the forgiveness of sins and make both us and them to attain to his heavenly kingdom. Let us cry aloud and say, Gurel Ison, three times. O Lord God, while you look upon them with mercy and compassion, absolve their debts, forgive their shortcomings, because the body and blood of your only begotten Son are hidden in their members. For in him, we trust to find mercies and remission of sins for us and for them. May to lose your flat well hold. Comfort us, O God, and grant remission and forgiveness for all offenses, which both we and they have committed against thee, willingly and unwillingly, knowingly and unknowingly. O Lord God, hold us and them worthy of a Christian and will. Do you do not remember our shortcomings and of our departed? That even in this holy Kurbona, as in everything, your most honored and blessed name be glorified, praised and exalted with that of our Lord Jesus Christ, and of your Holy Spirit now and always, forever and ever. Amen, as it was, and is, and shall be, from generation to generation, for all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Peace be. Mercies of God the Great, 
our Savior Jesus Christ be with you all my brothers and sisters forever and ever the next song will be on the TV heavenly uttered holy holy Lord is holy Lord ascending Jerusalem on cold this holy sing and sing and sing ever praises for God's Son you are bound to see praises all of the time oh Zion oh you the King of Kings, blessed is the church singing praises, Hosanna. broken heart saying our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy, thy kingdom come thy will be in honor as it is in heaven give us this day the bread we need and forgive us for our debts and sins as we have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen deliver us O lord god from the evil one and from all sorts of iniquities forgive our sins forgive our debts be the partner unto us and unto all those who have offended us that we may offer up glory and thanksgiving to you and dearly only begotten send your holy spirit now and always, forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with you all. And to thy spirit. Barak Yimur, before receiving these holy mysteries that are offered, let us again bow our heads before the merciful Lord. We pass before thee, our Lord and our God. O Lord. Shadow your right hand, shower your blessings upon your people and upon the sheep of your flock who are awaiting to receive the body and blood of your only begotten Son. O oh God, sanctify our souls and our bodies that we may offer glory to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always, forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with you all. And to thy spirit. 
May the grace and mercies of the holy and glorious Trinity, uncreator, self-existent, eternal, adorable, and of the same essence, be with you all, my brothers and sisters, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. more, let us look on with fear and trembling. Lord, be compassionate to us and have mercy upon us. His mysteries are being given to the Holy Spirit. Not only to the one Holy Father, the one Holy Son, and the one Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son. And the living Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The one Holy Father, whom by His mercy created the world, is with us. Amen. The one Holy Son, who redeemed us by His own precious sufferings, is with us. Amen. The one Holy Spirit, who is the perfecter and the fulfiller of all that has been and all which will be is with us. May the name of the Lord be blessed forever and ever. Amen. In oblations and in prayers, mention we are blessed forbears. Taught thee us the truth to see children of our God to be. Christ's atonement be their sin in God's realm of Communion and intercession with Virgin Mary, Mother of God. See the royal daughter stand. Hallelujah, you hallelujah, glorious Queen at thy right hand. Thy father's folk and holy thou. Hallelujah, you hallelujah, the King desires thy beauty now, but a cure. Shabahola, bole, proval, ruho, kadisho, menolam, vada, menolam, Praise the church, Lord, say intercession for us, pray unto him, thine only Son, that we may not mercy shun. So may God us good in Praise the bright archangel. Like a ship did Mary bear, Lord, and honor be in the captain and the Lord, God of all the world, Mordiorim, Cross, O Jesus, Lord, by thy mother's bring word, take from us and from our path, punish 
judgments and wrongs of wrath. Please be seated. God, Amen. Uh, can we have the procession hymn for Hosanna on the screen? So this year we'll be using a different version and uh, some of the odd things that you may see on, especially on the hymns, uh, certain symbols will be there. So you can see on the third line, I see, and the is in a bracket, right? So which means, like, you know, they just want to make sure that the meaning is complete, but at the same time, that can be rushed or maybe slow down, you know, that fast forward kind of sign, okay? So that is what it means. And uh, you come to the... Hosanna in the highest, and can you see a bracket in that towards the end? Okay, so that may be skipped. Okay, so this is the, uh, these are some indications that you may get, um, especially we'll be using this version, the same kind of translation and same kind of hymns for our Good Friday service and our Easter service. So just uh, keep that in mind. Uh, so the certain, um, Portions are kind of tricky. The choir will be able to lead that, but you know, you also need to follow through. Uh, that's the reason why you know just mentioning that. And we'll be singing this uh, um, this uh, sugiso, uh, the processional hymn, while going for the procession at this time. So can we have the um, uh, the the leaves be distributed at this time? So we'll be distributing the leaves at this time. You all will be holding the leaves. We are going for the procession right now so we're just waiting for downstairs to get ready for that um, and uh, you need to hold it uh, straight um, make sure you are holding it in reverence and once you, we are done with the procession we'll be collecting this back and we'll be blessing these leaves and then you know take this home uh, as a as a blessing and you know if you you know I always say like you know if you have no space uh, if you're homeless uh, please don't take it home uh, but if you have a home that you consider home please take it and you know keep that uh, with uh, due respect in your in your homes in your cars uh, but with due respect keep that and you know place it this is a blessing um, and uh, we know the service of Hosanna so there were I'm not going to do a sermon today. Um, so, and uh, for the Good Friday service, uh, please do come at 9 o'clock. Um, um, if you cannot make it at 9 o'clock, please come by 10 o'clock and not later than that. Like, you know. So why we have this four hour, five hour kind of service? This is to commemorate the, the time that our Lord spent on the cross, hanging in that pain. So, you know, we just try to uh, participate in the holy service, uh, um, chanting and uh, commemorating um, the passion of our Lord on the Good Friday service. So, to commemorate that, like, you know, this is a tradition that, we you know, we have been following, like, you know, we'll be spending like four or five hours in the church, uh, not just to do the kanyi and food, but, you know, uh, to make sure that, like, you know, we are participating, we are prostrating, in whatever the means, the limitations we have, like, you know, just trying to participate in that. And uh, for the uh, Easter service, again, um, uh, we'll be starting a little bit late on Easter. Uh, we'll be starting at 8 o'clock. Um, that's going to be a long day, but, you know, uh, the Easter proclamation will be in the first 30 minutes. So make sure, you know, you come sometime in between 8 and 8.30. Otherwise, you will be missing the, the, the climax of the whole thing. Like, you know, the Easter proclamation, the, the good news that is being proclaimed. Uh, so that will be in the first 30 minutes. Please try to make it before that. And, you know, we'll try to conclude everything um, 
um, on time. Um, um, but, you know, uh, so certain things we need to align and, you know, align with downstairs as well because of other, you know, arrangements like food and <coughs> things like that. So today's service is already, uh, I think, you know, this was shared with everyone and, you know, please um, download that on your phone. You can use while we go out for the procession. Um, and uh, we'll be having... Um, like, you know, make sure, like, you know, you have this procession. And what is the kind of chant that we do, uh, you know, after four, every four lines? So, Hosanna in the highest. Oh, um, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna son, son of David. Of David. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, son of David. That will be the chant uh, um, every, um, uh, after every four lines. So uh, this is for our blessings. It's chilly outside. Those who are feeling sick, not comfortable in a cold weather, please stay inside. Uh, you know, everyone else, please do join for the procession. Are they ready? Two more minutes. Uh, maybe you know oh, we'll just wait two more minutes and then you know we'll start so that like you know we don't have to spend too much time outside. gospel as who has made me a son the high mountain so Jerusalem I see son of God enter Jerusalem Company of all 
prophets and he is followed by the multitude of disciples. Hosanna in the hearts, Hosanna, Son of David.
this over. Yeah.
Hosanna to Him. Blessed is He who came and will come. Glory to You, Lord of all. Hosanna in the heights. Hosanna. Collecting the palm leaves, we'll be having uh, the Lenten devotion today. Lenten devotion will be done by uh, Caleb. Please do come forward. Can we set up the mic for him? Respected Uchin, parents, teachers, and friends. I'm thankful for this opportunity to share the Lenten devotional today, and I wanted to start by asking all of you to reflect for a moment. Think of a time when you couldn't understand why an event was happening to you. Maybe you didn't pass a test. Maybe you didn't make the team. Maybe you didn't get the job, or maybe you sick during a vacation. How did you feel? Did you feel lost, confused, overlooked or forgotten by God? Did you wonder why God let this happen? I think you will see some similarities between how the disciples felt on Palm Sunday and the emotions I just described. To prepare for today's message, my mom had me read the Palm Sunday story from all four Gospels, and John's version of the story is most fascinating to me. It's because he focuses on the disciples' perspectives. I connected because I found it to be so relatable. But first, let's do a small recap and highlight the main points of Palm Sunday. Jesus and his disciples were headed to Jerusalem from the Mount of Olives when he sent two of his disciples ahead of him with specific instructions to find a donkey and bring it to him. Jesus said, if anyone questions you, say, the Lord needs it. These things happened just as Jesus said and the disciples brought the donkey back to him. Jesus then leads his disciples to the city and they are greeted by a large crowd. People place their cloaks on the ground, spread palm leaves and praise him saying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. In John's gospel, he says only after Jesus was glorified did the disciples realize that this is the event that was written about in the scriptures. It amazes me that the disciples did not fully understand Jesus' plan, yet they still had faith in him and were obedient to him. It's so wild that the disciples were asked to take a donkey and enter a village without even knowing why, yet they still obeyed. Like the disciples, we may not always understand God's plan. At times, his plans may seem unclear or mysterious. A time in my life when I felt this way was at my first summer camp with Boy Scouts. I literally had to take a leap of faith into a mysterious lake. We were taking our first swim test of 100 yards, and our counselor warned us of the potential risks, including water moccasins. Though my nervousness grew, I listened to my counselor's instructions very carefully. I peered down into the murky lake. Then I closed my eyes, took a deep breath, and jumped. I kept telling myself, the Lord is with me, and he was, with every stroke. Though I didn't know it at the time, this was the beginning of my Boy Scouts training to save another's life in case of an emergency. 
God had a plan, even when it was unclear to me at the time. The Palm Sunday story is a happy event, with lots of rejoicing and praising. But one of the lessons in the middle of the celebration is to have faith in action, just like the disciples did. Thank you, and have a blessed Palm Sunday. You know, entire trees, plants, uh, everything that brings life into this world, it will be blessed. So this is a blessing of the whole world as well. And they will be celebrating. And, you know, th thank you so much, Kelly, for that wonderful uh, blessed message. Uh, so, you know, uh, these are all mysterious ways in which we worship God. Um, because our God is not a mystery, but our God is a presence. And... Uh, Hosanna means like, you know, uh, it got two meanings. One means, um, you know, praise, <laughs> glory to God. The other one means save us now. Save us now. It's a reality that the whole world need to be saved. Um, and, you know, we'll be blessing the whole world as well. Um, and all those help us to sustain life in this world. Uh, like the Denaho service, we'll be blessing the waters again. The life is celebrated. Today we'll be celebrating all the greens, uh, all the plants and trees and flowers, um, and all those help us to have a human life in this world. Let us celebrate um, the service. Shubaho labo labro val ruho kadisho. May His grace and mercy be upon us. We can send full servants in both worlds forever and ever. Amen. O Lord God, make us worthy that we may come out to meet you on this day of your entry into Jerusalem with garments of glory, with intellects with pure and holy thoughts with branches of glory we cry aloud and say blessed is he who come in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest now and always forever and ever Amen. have mercy upon me O god according to your loving kindness according to the multitude of your tender mercies Blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. me. Against you truly I have done what is evil in your sight. Your judgments are right, your sentence is just. For behold, I was formed in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. But you did divine the truth. You have made known to me the secrets of your wisdom. Sprinkle me with your high salt, and I, I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Satisfy me with the joy and gladness, that my bones which are crushed shall rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquity. Create me a pure heart, O God, and renew a spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence. Take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your glorious spirit. Then I will teach the wicked your ways and sinners shall turn to you. Save me from my guilt, O God, the God who saves me. And my tongue will sing of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. For you desire not sacrifices, you are not a pleased by burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, which you will not despise. By your loving kindness to good to Zion, build the walls of Jerusalem, then there will be righteous sacrifices, all burnt offerings to delight you, then bulls will be offered on your altar, 
before him. Hosanna, imprint, O Lord, you are coming before our eyes and impress upon our minds your glory and prepare our songs for your praise and the exaltation of your greatness now and always forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord, you, you, Jerusalem. Hallelujah and praise your God O you Zion barakemo Shmahola bole proval ruho kadisho Rejoice and be exceedingly glad 
Lord of Jerusalem, leap for joy, O oh you who love Zion, and celebrate the feast unceasingly, for Christ to reign. the Lord for mercy and compassion. O oh, merciful Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. Glory to the most sublime and exalted in his nature, whom the seraphs in the heights magnify, to the blessed one whom the cherubs bless with fear, and the children joyfully praise him, to the glorious one whose praise the angels chant, and who was praised by innocent infants in the streets of Zion. By his will, to him be glory and be honor with his Father and his Holy Spirit, and forever and ever, so the high I love me. Amen. O oh God, who is exalted in the might of his glory, and great in the depths of his dispensation, who is good in his nature and compassionate in his loving kindness, who came to his own creation to return it to the worship of his honor. Before his redeeming passion, he asked for a despicable colt to ride on, which typifies us, a nation from the Gentiles, who were redeemed by the, by the deception of the holy, by the deception of the evil spirits. The holy prophets at the inspiration of the Holy Spirit prefigured this holy festival. Jacob, the head of the tribes and the third among the patriarchs, prophesies in advance, the scepter shall not depart from Judah nor a lawgiver from his descendants until the coming of the one to whom the kingdom belongs, to whom the Gentiles shall look forward, and he will tie his donkey to a vine and a coat to a vine shoot. Zechariah the prophet foresaw this holy festival of Hosanna by his preaching to Zion the holy church of God saying, Behold, your king comes to you. He is righteous and a savior, lowly and riding upon a donkey, and the young one of a donkey. David, the divine prophet, sang in prophecy about this holy festival of Hosanna, saying, For the mouth of the young men and the boys, you prepared your song. Isaiah, the illustrious among the prophets, preached in anticipation about this holy festival of Hosanna, saying, Awake, awake, O Jerusalem, put on strength of the Lord's arm. Therefore, with spiritual rejoicing, we celebrate and honor this feast, which invites glory, saying, Praise to the Eternal One of the Eternal Father, who came to redeem the world from the dominion of sin. Hosanna! To the Son of David and the Lord of David, to whom the children cried out, Blessed is He, who came in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. To him who is invisible in his great majesty, 
who chose a despicable colt to ride that he might be glorified by the infants and thus he exalted our fallen race by his humbleness to him who humbled himself so greatly as to ride a cold Hosanna. to the haven of life who established his glory in the mouths of the children Hosanna. to the righteous and victorious who by his humbleness conquered the conceit of the adversary Hosanna. to the compassionate who gladdened his church by his holy and sacred festival Hosanna. to the good and compassionate who by his redemptive dispensation drove away the darkness of idolatry Hosanna. to the infinity of help who put sounds of praises in the mouths of infants Hosanna. to the just and righteous who by his own will humbled himself but while being equal with God in the highest Hosanna. to the haven of true life who delivered our race that had fallen in sin Hosanna. to the merciful full of grace and truth who established his praise in the children and infants Hosanna. to the consuming and formless fire who kindled his loved ones by his flame Hosanna. to him who is the hope of the whole world whose coming was foretold by the prophet Hosanna. to the maker and creator of all that breathes who made the infants and children sing new praises to him Hosanna. to the savior who redeemed the world by his dispensation Hosanna. to the perfect image of the perfect father who by his own will humbled himself to exalt us to the heights of his greatness Hosanna. To the one who is holy by his nature, to whom the infants cried out, Blessed is he who came in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. To the great one who became small to make us great, by his providence while his own greatness was never diminished. Hosanna. To him who forgives the depths of the offenders, who forgave the sins of our race by his compassion. Hosanna. Therefore we beseech you, Christ our God, to accept from us the praise of our mouths as you accepted the praise of the infants and children. Grant the word of wisdom to the prelates, virtue to the priests, purity to the deacons and altar servers, modesty to the subdeacons, Perseverance to the monks, loving kindness to the rich, good provision to the poor, exaltation to the churches, sustenance to the monasteries, serenity to the rulers, obedience to the soldiers, forgiveness to the sinners, return to those who have gone astray, peace and serenity to the enraged, good hope to all faithful and absolution to the departed, Together with them, make us worthy to stand blamelessly in the glory of your majesty and that of your Father and of your Holy Spirit. Hoshu of Kulas by love will be. From God, may we receive remission of sins, forgiveness of offenses in both worlds forever and ever. Elder said to the children, take stones and go out to meet the ones who's coming to enter Jerusalem. They took stones and went out to meet him as they saw him coming down from the Hallelujah, bless.
Congregation may ascend into the ranks of the fairy host on this festival, which makes heaven and the earth glad, and all the faithful who celebrate this redemptive festival. By this incense offered to you by us, we can sinners grant fully our good request and protect. O Lord, by your mercies, all the true faithful, absolve all the sinners and debtors, and grant rest to the spirits of the faithful departed. To you we glory and thanksgiving with your Father and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. You who are the expectation of the righteous and the fulfillment of the words of the just, who by riding on a dumb colt indicated your invitation to the impure Gentiles, who by treading over the olive and palm branches granted them victory over suffering, and by the voice of the prophets who foretold of you, saying, Who has come and will come in the name of the Lord, that with immortal branches of spiritual paradise, 
we may be worthy to celebrate this festival that does not pass away with the congregation of your saints and to offer glory and thanksgiving to you and your Father and your Holy Spirit. Hosho Vapkules Bain Laval Me Holy, 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 O Lord, cried out in fans, Holy Lord, enter Jerusalem on a cold praise. Chapter 51, verses 9 through 11, Barakimor. Glory to the Lord the prophets, and his mercy be upon us forever. 
Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake, as in days of old, the generations of long ago. Was it not you who cut Rahab in pieces, who pierced the dragon? Was it not you who dried up the sea, the waters of the great deep, who made the depths of the sea a way for the redeemed to cross over? So the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall free away. Barkimore. The, the lesson from the book of the prophet Zechariah, chapter 9, verses 9 to Glory be to the Lord of the prophets, and his mercy be upon us forever. Re rejoice greatly, O daughter Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter Jerusalem. Lo, your king comes to you, triumphant and victorious is he. Humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. He will cut off the chariot from Ephraim, and the war horse, war horse from Jerusalem. And the battle bow shall be cut off, and he shall command peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from river to the ends of the earth. As for you, also, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. Return to your stronghold, O prisoners of hope. Today I declare that I will restore you to double Badakimor. Those apostles chosen sent by God, they went to every place through. Lesson from the first general epistle of St. John, chapter 2, verses 7 to 15. Habibai, barakamor. Glory be to the Lord the Apostles, and His mercy be upon us forever. Beloved, I am writing you no new commandment, but an old commandment that you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. Yet I am writing you a new commandment that is true in Him and in you. Because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. Whoever says, I am in the light, while hating a brother or sister is still in the darkness. Whoever loves a brother or sister living lives in the light, and in such a person there is no cause for stumbling. But whoever hates another believer is in the darkness and walks in the darkness and does not know the way to go because darkness has brought upon blindness. I am writing to you, little children, because your sins are forgiven on account of his name. I am writing to you, fathers, because you know him from the beginning. I'm writing to you, young people, because you have conquered the evil one. I'm writing to you, children, because you know the Father. I'm writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I'm writing to you, young people, because you are strong, and the word of God abides in you, and you have overcome the evil one. Do not love the world or the things in the world. The love of the Father is not in those who love in the world. Habibai, barakamor. Oh, the blessed. Saint the Lord's Apostles said, If one comes to preach to you other doctrine than we do, be the man or angel Shooting up with many 
lesson from the epistle of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 11, verses 13 to 24. I bark Glory be to the Lord of the apostles, and his mercy be upon us forever. Now I'm speaking to you Gentiles, inasmuch then I, as I am an apostle to the Gentiles. I glorify my ministry in order to make my own people jealous, and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? If the part of the dough is offered as first fruits is holy, then the whole batch is holy. And if the, if the root is holy, then the branches are also holy. But if some of the branches are broken off, and you, a wild olive shoot, were, gifted, were grafted in the place to share the rich root of the olive tree, do not boast over the branches. If you do boast, remember that it is not you that support the root, but the root that supports you. You will say, branches were broken off so that I might be grafted in. That is true. They were broken off because of their unbelief. But you stand only through faith. So do not become proud, but stand in awe. For if God did not spare the natural branches, perhaps he will not spare you. Note then the kindness of the severity of God, severity towards those who have fallen. But God's kindness is toward you, provided you to continue in his kindness. Otherwise, you will also be cut off. And even those of Israel, if they do not persist in unbelief, will be grafted in. For God has the power to graft them in again. For if you have been cut from what is by nature an olive, wild olive tree and grafted, contrary to nature into a cultivated olive tree, how much more will these natural branches be grafted back into their own olive tree? Ahai barakimor. Hallelujah. give heed and listen to the living words of God in the whole evangelion of our Lord Jesus Christ that is being read to us. Peace be with you all. May the Lord our Lord make us free with thy spirit. The holy evangelion of our Lord Jesus Christ, the life-giving message from Saint Mark the Evangelist, who proclaims life and liberation to the world. At the time of the incarnation of our Lord and our God, our Savior Jesus Christ, the Word of Life God who incarnated of the Holy Virgin Mary, these things thus came to pass in this manner. We believe and confess. When Jesus approached Jerusalem at Bethphage and Bethania near the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go to the village ahead of you. As soon as you enter it, you will find a call tied thereon, which no man has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Say, Our Lord needs it. And at once he will send it here. So they went and found a call tied by the door outside in the street. And as they were untying it, some of the men who stood there said to them, Why are you untying the call? They answered them as Jesus had commanded them. And they consented. Then they brought the call to Jesus, threw their garments on it, and he rode on it. Many spread their garments on the road, and others cut down branches from trees and spread them on the road. And those who were in the front of him and those who were behind him were cheering and they were saying, Ushano Mabaraka Dose Bashmed Morio Mabaraka Hio Doyo Bashmed Morio Malkuso Dabo Dio 
ಶೈನೋ ಬಶ್ಮಾ ಶುಭೋ ಬಮರೌಮೆ ಉಷಾನು ಪಮರೌಮೆ ಹೋಸನ blessed is he blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord who comes in the name of the lord and blessed is the kingdom and blessed is the kingdom of our father david of our father david which is coming which is coming may there be serenity in heaven may there be serenity in heaven and glory in the higher and glory in the higher hosanna in the higher ಮಲ್ಕೋ ದಾಬು ದೀಲಂದಿ ಶೈನೋ ಬಶ್ಮಾ ಶುಭ ಬಮರೌಮೆ ಉಷಾನು ಬಮರೌಮೆ ಹೋಜನ blessed is he blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord who comes in the name of the lord and blessed is the kingdom of our father david and blessed is the kingdom of our father david which is coming which is coming may there be serenity in heaven may there be serenity in heaven and glory in the higher glory in the higher o sana in the higher o sana in the ಉಷಾನು ಬರ ಕಾ ದೋಸೆ ಬಶ್ಮದ ಮೋರಿಯೋ ಬರ ಕೋ ದೋ ಬಶ್ಮದ ಮೋರಿಯೋ ಮಲ್ಕೋ ದೀಲಿ ಶೈನೋ ಬಶ್ಮಾ ಶುಭೋ ಬಮರೌಮೆ ಉಷಾನು ಬಮರೌಮೆ ಹೋಸನ blessed is he blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord who comes in the name of the lord blessed is the kingdom of our father david blessed is the kingdom of our father david which is coming which is coming may there be serenity in heaven may there be serenity in heaven and glory in the higher and glory in the higher hosanna in the higher hosanna in the higher Then Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into a temple and he saw everything but when it was every evening he went out to Bethany with the 12 the next day as they went from Bethany he was hungry and he saw a fig tree from a distance that had leaves on it he came in he came or he came to you that he might find something on it when he came he found nothing on it except leaves for it was not the season of figs he said to you may no one ever eat fruit from you again and his disciples heard it then they came to jerusalem jesus entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling and buying in the temple he turned over the tables of the money changers and the chairs of those who swelling down and he would not permit anyone to carry merchandise through the temple then he began to teach them and saying is it not written my house will be called a house of prayer for all the nations but you have turned it into a den of thieves the chief priests and the scribes heard it and they were seeking how they might destroy him for they were afraid of him 
because all the people were amazed at his teaching. Peace and serenity be with you all. Let us stand with modesty and diligence and with voices that are pleasing unto God. Say, Kuriya Lai Christ our God, whom the heavens cannot contain, and who sat humbly on a colt of a donkey, we beseech you. He who in the flesh rode on a dumb colt, and foretold the proclamation of his dominion over the nations, we beseech you. He who made clear the tongues of stammering infants, that they eloquently offer praise against their parents' disbelief, we beseech you. He whom the Pharisees persecuted as a deceiver, while he was glorified as God by the infants, we beseech you. He who established complete and perfect praise from the tongues of immature youth, we beseech you. He who was worshipped with fear and trembling by the heavenly host and was praised in pure love by the young and by infants, we beseech you. For the tranquility and peace of the whole world, for the preservation of our fathers, the pious and blessed patriarchs, our Father, more and more Ignatius, of the second, our Catholicos, Abud Mor Baselio Thomas the first, and our Bishop, our Father Mortitos, and all the other Orthodox bishops, and for the commemoration of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the saints and the faithful departed, we beseech you. O Christ our God, make us worthy to emulate your humility on our behalf and to meet you at your second coming from heaven and free it from all the defilements of sin and with garments of incorruptibility and with robes of righteous conduct may we be pre prepared to meet you with confidence among the congregation of your chosen ones let us all cry out three times saying Kuriya Lai Dearly beloved, we will be moving into the blessing of the palm leaves and uh, followed by the veneration of the cross and blessing of the four sides, the exaltation of the holy cross and blessing the four corners of the earth. Shubhole bole brobal ruho kadisho. May His grace and mercy be upon us, weak and sinful, in both worlds forever and ever. Amen. O Lord God, pardon our debts by your loving kindness. Forgive our transgressions by your tender mercies. Grant us grace that we may be counted among your own, and may we all please you according to your will and attain grace in your presence. O Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord God of heavenly hosts, before whom the cherubs and the seraphs, the angels, the archangels, and the spiritual companions tremble with fear, and at the living fire of your divine divinity, they praise, glorify, and sanctify your majesty unceasingly, and with fear and trembling, by your will you were praised and glorified by the infants, the children, and the young men, and the holy and innocent disciples with their hosannas on earth. Now stretch out your almighty hand, which is full of grace and mercy and bless your flock and the branches that are sent before us and at this time the trees from which they were cut off may these branches be a blessing to those who carry them may we be worthy today as the infants and the disciples to praise to glorify and bless you in this world 
and in the new world to be the partakers of the blessed everlasting life with the company of your saints, that with spiritual hosannas and with glorious branches we may offer you glory and thanksgiving to you and to your Father and your Holy Spirit now and always forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, make us worthy that with shining garments of incorruptibility and with spiritual branches of praise we may celebrate your feast with gladness and rejoicing with your chosen ones. With them and among them, offer glory and thanksgiving to you and to your Father and to your living Holy Spirit, now and forever. Barakamur. Peace be with you all. And with our spirit. Barakamur, let us bow down our heads before the merciful Lord. We bow our heads before you. Our Lord and our God. O Lord God, your church and your inheritance, bend down the necks of their souls and bodies before you. Your servants and handmaids stand before the fearful throne of your majesty in supplication. Bow down with sorrow and repentance, implore you to forgive their trespasses. O Lord, the lover of humankind, do not dismiss them empty-handed, rather open to them the treasure and treasures and gladden them with your rich gifts, that they may continuously celebrate this festival of glories and become companions of the children who praise you with their hosannas. We offer you glory and thanksgiving to you and your Father and your Holy Spirit O Lord God, who by your dispensation perform all this among our maids, now by your abundant mercies, bless these branches and the trees from which they were cut off and the palms which your Lordship created. May they be a blessing to those who receive them and deliverance for those who hold them. Make them branches of glory, leaves of holiness and hosannas of purity. Amen. May these be for the confirmation of faith for the adornment of childhood, for the dignity of old age, for the edification of the churches, for the glory of the monasteries, for the blessing of our homes, and for the sustenance of faithful, because to you belong glory and honor with your blessed Father and your Holy Spirit, now and always, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord God, blessed are you and blessed is your coming. Blessed is your name that was called on us. And blessed be your dispensation on account of our salvation. O Lord, by abiding of your grace, bless all of us. And may the fields and the plants, together with these branches, make them palms of blessings for the protection of homes, to drive away Satan and strengthen to deliver us from temptation. Amen. Strengthen these for this ending of the wars, for the deliverance from evil passions, and the perseveration from all kinds, for the pre pre preservation from all kinds of accidents, grant us that by carrying them, we may receive mercy and pardon from you. Bless you, our people, who have come to celebrate your festival. May all make us all worthy to enter your bridal feast. We offer you glory and thanksgiving with your Father and your Holy Spirit, 
now and always, forever and ever. Amen. That has set before us our blessing in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit for life eternal. O Lord, the God of heavenly hosts and the maker of the whole creation, keep us under your mighty hand and protect us with your powerful arm. Make us worthy to praise you with the company of the fiery ones and to cry out with the children and the infants, saying, Hosanna in the highest, Ho show up cool as by love will be. Our Lord Jesus Christ, hear our prayers, accept our supplications, grant our requests, and come to our aid. Let your mercy be upon us in both worlds. Our Lord and our God, forever and ever. Amen. Now this is the time of the exaltation of the Holy Cross. As responses, holy are you, O God. Holy are you, Almighty. Holy are you, Immortal. Hosanna to the Son of David. Have mercy upon us. Say 